This morning in the Roadshow Kitchen. Oh, we're so happy she's back. Pastry chef Jamie is here from the Coast Guard House. No pastries on the menu today. Something Not, different. I had to look different. twice. I do know how to cook too. I know. <laughs> Surprising, but what are we making today? Today we're going to be making one of the summer favorites, penne mm -hmm. pecorino. It's on our menu every summer, and people come in to die for. Okay. So what Super do we need? Simple. Penne, obviously. Penne pasta. We got cherry tomatoes and arugula. Mm -hmm. Could also use spinach. It's also kind of my favorite to go to. Good swap because arugula has like a, a little peppery. Yeah, a little too. pepper. Not always. Everyone loves that, mm -hmm. but. We got pecorino cheese, obviously, and our fresh basil. Yep. And in the summertime, people like to put fresh grilled shrimp on it, some chicken. Mm. And this is a great thing to make at home. Super easy. Olive oil, tomatoes, whatever toppings you want. Yep. It's like a warm pasta salad. And easy swaps as well. I know you mentioned topping it with something like a shrimp or a chicken. You don't even have to top it with anything. You can just let it be. You can let it be. Mm -hmm. And you guys, you guys have a lot of different menu um, options that can cater to different, oh, different yes, dietary definitely. needs. And if it, somebody even wants to add vegetables, sometimes I add mushrooms to mine. Mm -hmm. I think that's a really good combination. Yeah. And looking ahead, like you said, this is a summer favorite. Is it always on the menu? Is it something that's just on your summertime It always comes back on the summertime menu. Okay. Just because it's a little more refreshing, a little more summery, yeah, summer body esque, I say. And to get us in the summer spirit, you were saying of having some chairs outside already. Already, we had our little lawn chairs out on the rocks, and people were sitting outside the other day. I mean. It's already feeling like summer, so yeah. why not do something like this? And it, it is a great spot to just have a drink outside oh, and yeah, watch the waves sure. roll in. <laughs> watch those brave surfers out there. All right, we'll get cooking with Chef Jamie in just a bit. Now I'm going to seek out my next cup of coffee and send things back to Michaela. Hey, I'll tell you what, you can have a cup of coffee in the kitchen uh, right next to where we are cooking with pastry chef Jamie. She's here from the Coast Guard House and mixing things up today, stepping away from the pastries. Yes. And you are uh, making a, a great dinner or maybe lunch for folks at home. Where do we start? So we're going to start by adding our pasta to our boiling water. Okay, and this Make is a, a good nice tip. You, it looks like you've kind of cooked the pasta already. We pre-cooked it a little bit. This is great if you've leftovers at home from pasta the night before. Uh, yeah. Um, so we got to just heat it back up. Mm -hmm. We got our hot pan right here. Put a little olive oil in. Now we're just, all we're doing is roasting the tomatoes. Yeah. A lot of folks are going to be growing their own tomatoes this exactly. year, too. So I, I love that a lot of things that you have, maybe even some basil, you could pluck them out of your garden when, once they start exactly. coming up. That's why it's a great at-home meal. Mm -hmm. Like you said, you can add different, whatever you're growing in your garden. You can yeah. squash. It's also a great thing to do. We've got our tomatoes roasting. A little salt and pepper to that. Mm -hmm. Are we looking for them to kind of wilt just a little yeah, bit? Yeah, just or a little bit. Maybe soften. get a little bit of a crisp on the outside skin. Mm -hmm. Do they call that blistering? Is that what it is? Like blistering yeah. a tomato when they when Just it gets... when it pops a little bit. Yeah. Um, we'll give our pasta stir. We'll give our pasta stir with our sure. tongs over here. You got Just it. Make sure it's all cooking evenly. Mm-hmm. Like I said, looking, we're just looking to, to heat that back up, right? Yes. Keeping it a little al dente. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, for sure. Keeping it a little al dente. And then next, getting our potatoes there a little bit more. Okay. Talking about the warm weather, I, I'm hoping the deck will open a little earlier this year. Yeah, you guys have uh, some things happening out there. Yeah, we're doing new construction up on the closed deck. There's going to be nice glass sliding doors. It's going to open it right up. Maybe be open during the winter time. Oh, Safe. even better. Yeah, nice to enjoy uh, enjoy that beautiful oh, view because sure. you are open all year round and it's such a, a nice spot. So we're out well on our way to our penne dish and we've got our tomatoes going there. Just a couple more ingredients to add. We'll talk more about Coast Guard House coming up. Welcome back to the road show on this fine Thursday morning. We have returned to an area of the set where I excel, the Roadshow <laughs> Kitchen, as pastry chef Jamie Cherneski from the Coast Guard House joins us. How you doing? Doing well, not too bad. Well, I was asking you, okay, you're a pastry chef, but yes. today you're making penne picorino. Yes. And why is that? <laughs> no one else wants to come do this. What's going on down there? <laughs> well, all joking aside, we're delighted to have you. I always love being here. It's, it's one of my favorite times to come and 
just be myself and everyone see what I do. Absolutely, and it all looks and smells absolutely terrific. Uh, although, please, if you'd like to make some desserts and pastries again, come on back next, and do that. Next time, I Anytime. <laughs> but for today, we're really excited about this dish. Uh, where are you in this process? So we're going to just start every, adding everything together. So what I'm going to have you do is... Would it be wait. easier for me to just leave? <laughs> <laughs> that makes my job a little less easy. But all right. But I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm I'll try I'm going to have my... you toss... It's all, tossing everything together. Okay, I think Very I can do simple. that. Very simple. I've washed my hands for the 10th time tongs. this hour, and I'm ready to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to add our tomatoes right in. Okay. And we're going to keep this pan hot because this is we can cook our chicken or shrimp right back in it. Okay. So we'll turn up the heat on that. I'm going to have you add a little bit of arugula. No, not the whole thing. Not the whole thing. Just a good heaping. Do we good use the heaping. tongs for that? You can use the tongs for okay. that. Sprinkle our pecorino in. Was that a, Maybe a, good, a, little, a little more? more. Oh, maybe a little more generous. Is that we got too a good much? amount of pasta. All right, and then we work the flavors all around. And then we work the flavors, just give it a good toss. We'll add all a right. little more salt and pepper. It's all you. Toss it up. All <laughs> right, look out. Everyone at home can watch and. Oh, he doesn't know what he's doing. Should I be grabbing <laughs> the bowl and like flipping it around, or is the yeah. bowl too hot? You can hand toss it a little bit. Okay. <laughs> That's how we do it at the restaurant, so don't boomer. worry. Okay, all right. So I got some chicken in the pan here, a little olive oil. I've been there to do a few segments at the Coast Guard House. Just a gorgeous location, and you were telling me you've been there how long now? Almost five years coming up. Does it seem possible? It's crazy to me. I, I know. don't know. I just It's just a family there, and I fit right in, so yeah. I'm very comfortable. And this time of year, you know, everyone's looking forward, of course, to uh, the warmer weather, and it really doesn't get any more magnificent than oh, sitting outside there with a cocktail or or any beverage of choice at Coast Guard House. It's beautiful, and especially this time, restaurant week coming up, if you're going to come and wait for a table, might as well sit outside, have a cocktail while you do it. I better not be waiting for a table <laughs> over there. Let's oh, never. Bite your tongue. <laughs> uh, how have I done here? Perfect. So we'll just throw it right into the bowls over here. Okay. Why don't you do that? <laughs> Switch with you. <laughs> I'll mess something up. There you go. Never. So we got our nice, and you can share this. It's great to make it home. Absolutely. Family style. A little more fresh arugula right on top. So it's like a warm pasta salad. A dash of color. Dash of color, always. Something my Farm, skin desperately needs. Garden fresh. <laughs> and then we're actually going to switch again. And let's talk about Narragansett Restaurant Week coming up here. I have my cheat sheet in front of me, March 20th through the 29th. 2020, oh good, it's this year. 2020, this uh, year. <laughs> one delicious week, um, kicking off with a party March 19th at the Towers. Yes, and they're taking all precautions because the whole coronavirus thing sure. going on. So it's still I haven't still heard anything beyond. about that. Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Some ep epidemic or something. Absolutely. Well, lots of great places are involved. I mean, do you work closely with the, a lot of these great establishments? Uh, we, oh, let me see. Actually, not. Yeah, I'm, I mean, being in the restaurant business, you get close with a lot of people who di work in different restaurants. Well, you're all on the same team, so to speak, in that you're you're, true. you're trying to run a business here in the Ocean State, and it's a great place to be. And, you know, people in Rhode Island, they love keeping it local. Oh, and, definitely. And you're a part of that great fabric. That is true. Of uh, the 401, so to speak. So what else are we doing? So uh, we're going to be cutting up some chicken. How confident are you in your cutting <laughs> skills? <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 10, I would say Good zero. Nice knife right there. I think I've selected the wrong drawer, ladies and gentlemen. I want to grab me a fork things. out of that. Yes. There you go. Thank you very much. Yeah. A knife over there. You bet. So just slice all the way. Slice all the way. Okay. For you, how rewarding is it just to work in the kitchen down there and with the great staff to come up with the latest and greatest and new specials, all that kind of stuff, right? It's super rewarding. I mean, I'm always bouncing ideas off of everybody in the kitchen. Even the front of house staff were so close knit and they do such a great job with the hospitality that it just weans it, its way back into the kitchen. And you do have some regulars down there. You know, I joke oh, about yes. coming in. I better not have to wait. All joking aside, I mean, it's nice to be communal in that way, isn't oh, it? Oh, definitely. It's nice to go out into the dining room and be able to see some friendly faces and have a nice little conversation and get their opinion even about what we're making. Yeah, and all the chicken's going in? Red chicken right on top. Uh, all right, so look we call out. this chicken pecorino. Oh, they almost <laughs> all made it. But uh, there we go. So that's not the way it's supposed to look. But when Brendan Kirby's involved, that's how it ends up <laughs> right it's there. Beautiful. Jamie, a pleasure to welcome you. As always, we'll do one of these. <laughs> one of these. Thanks I like that thing. <laughs> for being here. Uh, pastry chef extraordinaire Jamie Chernesky from Coast Guard House. If you'd like to learn more all about the great things they have happening down there, just visit us at roadshow.com.